Hello and welcome to Pavli. So today guys, we will be discussing the top 5 Google Blogger automations that you can set up with Pavli Connect. So as we all know, Google Blogger is one of the most popular blogging platform used by a lot of users. And there are a lot of things that you can automate related to that. For example, sharing the RSS feed from some other website to your blog or sharing the newly published blog from your Google Blogger account to your social media platforms like Telegram, Twitter, Facebook and all. The possibilities of automation are endless. So without any further delay, let's start with this complete guide where we are going to teach you the step-by-step -step process that how you can set up all of these automations all by yourself. Guys, this video is for all the bloggers out there. So guys, if you are running a blog on Google Blogger and you want to improve the user engagement by sharing RSS feeds of different websites into your blog, this automation can be really helpful as here we are going to connect the RSS feed of any website in the trigger and Google Blogger in the action such that whenever there is a new RSS feed in a website, the feed will be shared to your Google Blogger automatically so that you don't have to manually copy paste the data and it will save your time. So guys, we are going to set up this automation very easily without any coding. Let's start. So we are using Pavli Connect to set up this automation and this is the landing page of Pavli and I have pasted the same link in the description as well. You can see the Black Friday sale is also going on and guys from here you can set up your free Pavli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect like this. And from here you have to create a workflow for that just click on this create workflow button here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well so i'm giving the name here as rss feeds to google blogger right and after giving this name just click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here and on this page guys you will find these two modules the trigger and the action so with the help of these two things, we can set up any kind of automation. So basically our automations are based on you, based on the trigger and actions. Trigger means when this happens. That means when something happens in one application, action is going to make uh, Pavli Connect perform any action in another application that is called action application, okay? So here in this use case, RSS feeds adding of a new RSS feeds in any website is going to act as a trigger and sharing the feed on Google Blogger will be our action. So here we are going to connect RSS by Pabli feature of Pabli Connect. RSS, here it is, select this. So with the help of this, you can connect the RSS feed of any website, right? So the trigger event would be new item in feed. And here you can see this trigger is showing every 20 minutes. So this trigger is going to check in every 20 minutes if there is a new feed in the RSS website and if there is any, the data will be fetched and the trigger will start working. Okay, let me show you. Just click on connect here <clears throat> and here you can see it is asking for the feeds URL. So in this feed URL, you have to paste this kind of feed URL of any RSS website. Okay. Right now I am giving you the example of uh, Times of India, which is a, a news website and this is the uh, RSS feed of this website. So let me select this business feed and I'm going to just copy this RSS URL here. You just have to copy the link address and you have to paste it here like this. Okay. And now click on save and send test request button and the most recent feed of the business RSS will be fetched here. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request button and here you can see this is the title of the feed got fetched RBI pauses onboarding of online merchants by Perium payment services. Okay. This is a news published on this date. This is the link of the feed. Okay. And here you can see the content snippet is here. Right. Let me show you the same in this actual feed, which is the business feed. All right, you can see here, this is the same headline, RBI pauses onboarding, right? Which got captured here in our workflow, right? Now guys, you can share this post on your Google Blogger. For that, we are going to use this action step and here I'm going to search for Google Blogger. Here it is, select it. 
and the action event would be create a post then click on connect here and from here select add new connection then click on sign in with google and from this page select the google account by which you have created the uh, blogger account then you have to give Pabli connect some access to your account just click on continue that is completely safe and the authorization will be successful and we'll be connected like this okay now it is asking for the blog's id so this is my blog uh, you can see the name of my blog is my blog only so you can select your blog's name from here and here it is asking for the title the content of the blog post and all other things okay so I'm going to use this data that I have received as the test data from the RSS feed and I'm going to map the labels here in this step to create a test blog post in my blogger account. Okay. So in the title, you just have to click here and the trigger step will appear here in the drop down. So when you click on it, it will show you the data like this. And from here, I'm mapping the title in the title field. In the content, I'm going to map the content snippet label like this and if you want to directly publish it you can uh, schedule it or you can directly make it live or you can put it in the draft section if you want to review the post okay i'm putting it in drafts so that i can review the post and then publish it from blogger okay is draft yes date of publishing these are not compulsory fields so you can leave these things blank right now and here let us create a blog, uh, test blog post by clicking on save and send test request button. So click on save and send test request button and you will find a new test uh, blog post in the draft section of your blogger account. This is the draft section of my blogger account and let me click on save and send test request here. All right. This is the response we have received. Uh, draft is saved here. Let me show you that in blogger. Let me refresh the draft section. And here you can see guys, a new blog just got uh, saved here in the drafts, RVI pauses onboarding. This is the same title that we had here in the RSS website, uh, like this. Same got uh, saved here in the blogger account, like this. So this is how it is going to work guys. And um, you have to set up this automation only once. So once you map the, uh, map the labels here, what will happen every time there is a new blog uh, every time there is a new feed in the RSS of any website, the labels are going to change and new post will be saved in your drafts automatically, right? And if you want to use this workflow, you can use it as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Hey everyone, welcome back again. So guys, in this video, you will learn how you can create posts in multiple Facebook groups multiple Facebook pages and multiple blogger accounts automatically and simultaneously. Yes, guys. So here we are going to create a post in one website or platform and the same post will be created in all the social media and multiple accounts and multiple pages and groups automatically. So you can see on my screen now, this will be the flow of this automation here. You just have to create and publish a post in your WordPress website and the same post will be posted into multiple Facebook groups and pages simultaneously and the same post will be created in multiple blogger accounts as well. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect guys, which is going to integrate these three applications and you just have to create one post and that's it. You do not have to manually share the same post in multiple Facebook groups or pages or on multiple blogger accounts. So guys, uh, you can set up this automation very easily without any coding skills. So now let me show you how you can also set up this automation. To set up this automation guys, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application and to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. So we have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli connect account by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get hundred free automation tasks every month. Okay. So sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys here, you have to create a workflow of automation for that. Just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as send or let's say create 
post in multiple social media accounts automatically okay so after giving the name like this you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page guys you will see the trigger and the action so this automation is going to work on these two things only so the trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger so what i am going to do here i am going to set up this trigger as as and when i am going to publish any post here in my wordpress website the same post will be created in facebook page facebook group and the blogger account okay so first of all you need to set up this trigger so from this choose app field you have to choose your trigger application as wordpress where we are going to create the post first okay so here the trigger event would be this new post published okay select this and it will give you this url this is called as a webhook url guys and with the help of this we are going to make a connection with our wordpress website and after that we are going to capture the response of this connection so guys to make the connection with wordpress you can read these instructions here and you can follow these instructions let me show you step by step what you have to do so here is my wordpress applications dashboard and here i have this plugins option let me show you here you can see we have this plugins option from here click on add new okay and another page will open up from here guys from this keyword search field you have to search for a plugin which is called wp webhooks this so this is wp webhooks plugin we have you have to install it and activate it so it is already installed and active in my account so i do not need to do it again you can do it easily and after that when you click on settings here you will find this wp webhooks option in this drop down so click on this wp webhooks uh, option and guys here you have to click on this send data tab click on send data all right here you will find these options and under this post created section click on post created and here you have to click on this add webhook url button right here you can give a new uh, or a name to this webhook connection so i am giving the name here as multiple social accounts right so i have given the name like this and here in this webhook url field you have to paste this webhook url so just click on copy from here and paste this url here in this field like this and then click on add for post create okay and that's how you can get a webhook connection created and you will find that new webhook here in the last this is it multiple social accounts now you have to click on this three dots in the right hand side and then click on settings and here you will find this option trigger on selected post type so here you have to select on which post on which thing you want to trigger your workflow so here select post option and here it is asking trigger on initial post status so whenever i publish a post i want to send the data to my workflow so from here select published okay and then scroll down and click on save settings okay so you can see the settings are saved here now you can close this window and here in your workflow you can see as i have copied this webhook url here it started showing waiting for the webhook's response so this means now we can perform a test submission test submission means now i am going to create a test or a demo post inside my wordpress website and the data of that post is going to be fetched here in this workflow okay so here let me create a new post here we have this post section let me show you these are the post section click on add new okay and here you can add a title you can attach a form you can write a paragraph you can attach media and do many things here so let me create a post here so guys here you can see i have created a post here the title is this okay and this is an excerpt and here i have attached an image also featured image 
okay and this is the post i want to publish here on my website so here i am clicking on publish and you can see the post is getting published here so guys the post is being published on my website page by clicking on this view post you can view that post okay this is the post i have created okay and let's see in our workflow if we got the data of this post and here you can see we have received the data like this here we got the content of the post the title of the post and all other things related to the post we got here right and i want to post this same uh, post that i have created on different social media accounts and i have the details of my different social media accounts here in this spreadsheet in google sheets application here i have you can see i have uh, two facebook groups first is this pabli tech second is pabli members and then we have two facebook pages and then two blogger accounts and here we have these things also the blog uh, sorry the page for the group we have the group id for the page we have the page id for uh, the blog we have the blog id okay so you can find these things through your social media accounts okay let me show you uh, about the facebook groups id so you can see this is a facebook group i have named as pabli tech and in the search bar here in this search bar field you can see after this groups and slash this is the uh, group id facebook group id we have this string of numbers is the group id you can copy it and paste it here in the google sheet so we are going to need these things that's why i have uh, you know pasted these things and added these things here right and for this page access token you for the facebook page you will have to have this uh, page id as well as the access token of the page so to get the access token you can use any action step in your workflow here you just have to uh, select facebook pages option all right and then you can select any action event then you can connect with your facebook page by selecting add new connection option click on connect with facebook pages and if you are logged in in facebook you will be automatically connected here like this and here you will find the page access token so when you select your page from this pages list let's uh, see uh, what pe what pages we have here so this is a page i have on facebook named as pavli tech so when i'm going to select this page from this list pavli tech you will get the access token of access token of this page here in this field so you can just copy this token and paste this token here in this page access token fields so you have to keep these things ready here in your spreadsheet because we are going to need these things afterwards in our workflow okay so right now i am deleting this step so after you know after uh, creating this spreadsheet what do you what do you have to do you have to connect this spreadsheet in your workflow in this action step so just click here and now we are going to fetch the details of our facebook pages credentials and the blogger blogger page blogger accounts credentials from our spreadsheet so select google sheet from here and the action event select get rows option then click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on connect with google sheets and from this window select the google account by which you have created that sheet okay then give the required access to pavli connect just click on continue and you will be connected with google sheets automatically okay so we are now connected and here you have to select the name of your spreadsheet so the name of my spreadsheet is this post on multiple platforms so from this list you will find your sheet here like this select it okay and you can see the sheet's name got automatically selected here the sheet name was platform and it got captured here like this and now it is asking for the range of data that you have in your spreadsheet so in my spreadsheet to find the range just click here on the second row and start selecting the data of your social media accounts like this okay just select the first row till this d column then start selecting down and keep selecting at the uh, till the last row okay so when you got your data selected in this name box field you will find the range it is showing a2 colon d7 this means that we have the data of our social media accounts here in the spreadsheet 
starting from column A row 2 and ending at column D rows number 7. So this is our range you can just copy that from here and you can put the range here in this field like this. And now you can click on save and send test request to fetch the data from your spreadsheet to here in your workflow. But guys before doing that just remember to toggle this simple response button to off. Okay, so we are keeping it off because after that we are going to use another feature of Pavli Connect to get the data one by one of our social media accounts. Okay, so for that to happen just toggle this simple response button to off then click on save and send test request. And here in this response section the data from your spreadsheet will be fetched in this array of data format. So we got this array of data because we have toggled this simple response button to off and now we can arrange this array of data with the help of feature with the help of a feature of Pavli Connect which is called iterator. So iterator is going to segregate this data in row by row form and after that we are going to send or create post according to the data we got in a row of any social media account one by one okay. So here click on this plus icon and another action step will open up. From here you will find this iterator. Select iterator from here. And here it is asking to choose your array. So we have received the data in this response result array guys. Okay. So I'm going to map this label here. Just click here and it will show you the previous step like this. And from here map this response res result label array like this. Okay. Then click on save and send test request. And here you can see the data got arranged here in this format and it is showing us the data of the first row only. Okay, so that's how it is going to work. Iterator will make this workflow run first for the first row, for the first me social media account, then for the second, then for the third and so on. Okay, so right, so we got the data of the Facebook group first. Okay, now guys, I want to create a post in Facebook group multiple Facebook group we have two groups here also I want to create the same post in two pages and in two blogger accounts as well so we have uh, uh, we have three type of social media accounts here Facebook page fa Facebook groups and the blogger accounts for that we need to create three different paths in our workflow to create the post automatically in three different kind of social media accounts okay for that to happen I am going to just click here on this plus icon and from this action step I am going to use this router feature of Pavli. So router will create three conditional routes for three type of social media accounts. So it has already been given us the two routes here. By clicking on this add route button you can add another route okay and here let me rename these routes so that you can clearly understand what is happening in these routes okay. So to rename the routes just click here on this three dots and you will find this rename option. From here you can rename the route. I am giving the first route the name as Facebook group. So guys you can see I have renamed the routes here. First route is for Facebook groups then for Facebook pages then the blogger blogs. Okay. Now click on set filter and action steps here for the first route and here you can see we have this filter condition here and it is asking for selecting a label. So guys here I am going to apply a condition that this route is for Facebook groups only. For that I am going to use the data I have received in the previous steps and I have segregated the data from the iterator. So I am going to use these labels that I have got here in this route. So just click on set filter and action steps and from this select label option click here and use this iterator step just click here and guys map this social media. Uh, label okay so you can see I have written here so social media as a uh, you know header I have in my spreadsheet and in which I have uh, mentioned the types of social medias so I have selected this same label here and I am making the filter type equals to okay and here I am going to write this value that we have here in this uh, spreadsheet which is FB group okay so I am going to write here FB FB group okay now click on save and send test request and here you can see the condition is true so what does it mean it means that we are saying to Pavli connect that whenever you receive the social media uh, label equals to FB group then continue this workflow 
and create a post in Facebook group. Okay, so you can see the condition is true. So the workflow is going to continue and what we are going to do, we are going to create in create a post in Facebook group for that to happen. Just click here on this plus icon and from this action step search for Facebook groups. Here you can see we have this Facebook groups option click on it. And the action event would be post message. Then click on connect. And from here select add new connection then click on connect with Facebook groups and it will be automatically connected because we are logged in here and let me open the group in which I want to create a post. So guys this is a Facebook group I have named as Pavli Tech and here I want to create a post automatically. So here you can see I have this groups option. So here I am going to select the group in which I want to create a post and I am going to map the name of the group from my spreadsheet. So here in this spreadsheet you can see I have mentioned the groups group names as well group names we have pages name we have and the blogger accounts blogs names we have here in this B column and I have received this data here uh, in this previous in the previous step and I have segregated the data with the help of iterator so why with the uh, from iterator step only i am going to map the group's name so for that to happen just toggle this map button to on here okay and here erase this data and from this iterator step map this group id okay group id or page id or blog id select here this label so i have mapped the group id you can see and here it is asking which message you want to uh, post in group so I have received the data of a post from my WordPress in the first step so from WordPress I'm going to map the title of the post then I'm going to click enter and I'm going to map the content of the post as well like this and in the link section you can uh, map the link of your WordPress post also so here we got a permalink you will see here Here we got the post permanent link. You can map it here in this link post. All right. Now you can check your connection. Click on save and send test request and a new post will be created here in this group Pavli Tech. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request guys. And this is the response we have received. It's showing us the post ID. Let's check in our group if we got a new uh, post or not. So I'm refreshing the group. And here you can see a new post is created here like this. This is the title. This is the post. This is the link. Okay. Right. So this is the same post that I have here in my WordPress. Now it got posted here in my Facebook group. This is how it is going to happen. Right. So here you can see we have mapped the group's ID. So when this workflow is going to run, iterator will make this workflow run for the first row then for the second row. So as it going to run for the second row, the group ID is going to change here according to the mapped label and a new post will be created in a second group. Okay, that's why we map labels here. So now similarly, we are going to set up another route for Facebook pages. So now click on set filter and action steps and from this filter select uh, the iterator. Sorry, select the label from the iterator, which is social media and make the filter type equals to and here now the value should be FB pages. <clears throat> okay, according to the data that you have received from the spreadsheet FB page. Okay. Now click on save and send test request. The condition is showing false because in the iterator right now we have the uh, social media label as FB group. But in real time when it is going to run the label are going to change and here it will show you Facebook page and when it is going to uh, uh, when it is going to equal to Facebook page then the workflow will be running. Okay. <clears throat> here just uh, remember to correct the right uh, format here you can see F and B are in capital and a P in page is also capital. So you have to type the same name here in the same format as you have in your spreadsheet. Okay. Now the condition will be true in real time and the workflow will continue and when the workflow continues what we want 
we want that a post will be created in a Facebook page. For that, just click on the plus icon and from this another action step, search for Facebook pages. <clears throat> this is it, select it. And the action event would be create page post. So let me open a page here. So this is a Facebook page I have named as integration. Okay. So here click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on Facebook, connect with Facebook pages. And you can see we are getting connected here. Right. And here it is asking for the pages name. So I'm going to map the pages ID from my uh, iterator step because we have received the page ID here from my spreadsheet which we have segregated using iterator. So just map this toggle, just toggle this map button to on, erase this field and from this iterator map this label which is page or group or blog ID, map this label. Okay. Right now this ID belongs to a Facebook group but we are mapping the label here because in real time when this, uh, when this workflow is going to run the labels are going to be updated and a new ID will be fetched here of the relevant Facebook page. Okay. And here it is asking for the page access token also. That's why we have pasted the page access tokens here. You can see, and we have received the data from iterator from spreadsheet and we have segregated through iterator. So toggle this map button to on here and just click here. And from this iterator step map the page access token label. So right now we have, we haven't received any data in this page access token, but in real time, when this workflow is going to run and it will make an iterator will make this workflow run for this row, the page access token will be fetched and it will be pasted here and the workflow will continue. Okay. And here it is asking for the message. So I'm going to map the message from this first step. So I'm going to map the title. Then I'm going to map the content of the post. Okay and you can map the link also of your WordPress post and uh, the link will be here in the last here it is permalink map it okay now click on save here okay do not click on save and send test request because it will show you an error because we do not have the page access token pasted here yet so just click on save and your route will be saved here okay then close Similarly, come to the third route for the blogger and here select do the same thing from this iterator map the social media label make the filter type equals to and now put the value as put the value as blogger. Okay. <clears throat> right. Click on save or save and send test request whatever you want then click on plus icon and from the section step now choose blogger okay here it is google blogger and the action event would be create a post then click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on connect with google blogger and from here you have to select that google account by which you have created that blog and then give the required access to Babli connect just click on continue and you will be connected with your blogger account like this and here it is asking for the bloggers id so here in my spreadsheet, I have already entered the blogger IDs here and we have received the data of the blogger ID here in the spreadsheet and from the iterator, I'm going to map the blogger ID label. So just map this, just toggle this map button to on, erase this and from this iterator step, map the blogger ID label like this. Okay. And now it is asking for the title and the content of the post. So map the title from the WordPress step. This is the title for the content. Use the same process. Okay. So if you want to publish it, you can make the status as live. It is not in draft. Make it no. Okay. And you can use all the things here. Now click on save and this route is also saved for your blogger post. Okay. Now close. So we are done setting up this automation guys. Now, as in when you are going to create any new post in your WordPress, the same post will be created in your blogger account, in your Facebook pages and in your Facebook groups in multiple groups and multiple pages and multiple blogger accounts automatically and simultaneously. So you have to set up this automation only once guys, you do not have to do anything manually after that. After that, you just have to create a post here in your WordPress 
and the same post will be here on your Facebook group or page like this okay and also on your blogger and your Facebook pages okay so you can use the same workflow also because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly hello everyone welcome back to our channel Pabli. so in this video we are going to learn how to share blogger post to whatsapp automatically so the idea here is that whenever you create a new post into your blogger account all your clients should receive a message on their whatsapp number stating that you have made a new post on your blogger account but the question here is how to do this because there is no direct connection between blogger and whatsapp so first let us check this in the real time and then we will move on to the integration process so this is my blogger account and this is the whatsapp number of the client so i have the client's data in my google sheet over here and this is the whatsapp number of the client name smita sharma okay so now i want that whenever i create a new post here in my blogger account all these clients should receive a whatsapp message that a new blog has been published okay on their whatsapp numbers so let us create a new post by clicking on this plus sign new post I'll just add the title over here, India's Harna Sandhu Crowned Miss Universe 2021. Along with this title, I'm just going to add a random content over here. Okay, and let's add an image also. I'll just select the image from my system. Okay, let us select this Harna Sandhu image. Let's click on select. Okay, I'll just maximize the size of the image. Let's click on publish and confirm. Okay, and here we can see the post is published. I'll just click on this view button. India's Hana Sandhu crowned Miss Universe 2021. The title along with the description and the image is properly posted over here. Now let us check the WhatsApp number of the client. I'm just refreshing it. And here we can find a new message. Hello, Smita Sharma. A new post is just published on our blogger account. Don't wait to share your love. Also provide your valuable feedback in the comments. A link is given. Note, please save this number to make the link clickable. Regards, team, Pabli team. Okay, let's click on this link. Okay, and here we can see that we are on our blogger post. So now here you might be wondering that I just created a new post here in my blogger account and automatically the client has received a WhatsApp message stating that a new post is published on my blogger account. So how did I manage to do this? So let me tell you this has become possible just because of the automation and integration process. So in order to create an integration between blogger and WhatsApp, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. Basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Blogger with WhatsApp automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first we have to create an integration between Blogger and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect will capture all the details related to the new post. And using all those details, automatically a message will be sent on the WhatsApp number of your clients or the customers. And in this way, we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between Blogger and WhatsApp using Public Connect. So let us learn the integration process now. For this, let us type pabbly.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabbly. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as share blogger post to WhatsApp automatically. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window 
and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want the details to be captured from the blogger post. So open this trigger window and here in the application name, let us select Google Blogger. In the trigger event, we have to select new post added. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and connect with Google Blogger. Now here we have to choose an account. So I'll just select an account. Pabli Connect Blogger wants additional access to your Google account. So I'll just click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. And now the Google Blogger account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Blogger account. Now here we have to select the blog ID. So this is the blog ID. I'll just take you to my blogger account and here we can find the blog ID, my blog. So here we can see that it is automatically captured. Now here we have to select the status as only live, only draft or only scheduled. So in my case, I am selecting it as only live. So this particular trigger is going to run only when the post is live on my account. Okay. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first let us go to the blogger account and let us create a new post just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest response. So I'll just go to the blogger post. Here we have to click on this plus sign, create new post. So here we have to give the title. I have given it as India has updated the travel rules for the travelers. Here we have to give some content. So I'm just adding a random content over here. Okay. Now along with this particular title and content, I want to add an image also. So I'll just click on this insert image option. I'll upload it from the computer. Okay, I'll choose the files from my system. Okay, let's go to the pictures. And here I have created a folder. So I'm just going to select this particular traveler's image. Okay, the image is getting uploaded over here. Okay, let's click on select. And here we can find the image. I'll just maximize the size of the image. Okay. Let's click on publish. Publish post. This will publish this post to your blog. Okay. Let's click on confirm. And here we can see the post is published. I'll just view this post by clicking on this view button. Okay. And here we can find the title, its description or the content along with the image. So the post is ready now. Now we have to move to Pabli Connect. And now we are going to click on save and send. Test request. Okay, so response is received. And here we can find all the details related to the post are captured. So here we can find the blog ID. This is the URL. This is the blogger URL. Okay, this is the title, its content, image URL, and all other details related to the post are captured over here. So now I want to give you an important information over here that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, your data will surely arrive. Okay. So now we want that automatically this particular post should be shared on the WhatsApp number of our clients. So I have already created a Google Sheet. This is the client's data Google Sheet, which I have already created. So now I want that all these clients should receive the WhatsApp message on their mobile numbers. So we have to capture all these details into the Pabli Connect. For that, we have to go to the Pabli Connect, come to this action window. And here we are going to select the application name as Google Sheets. In the action event, we have to select Get Rows. So why we have selected this get rows option just because by clicking on get rows, whatever the data we have in our Google sheet, say 100 rows or 1000 rows, we will get it into the array format. Okay. So let's click on connect. Here we have to click on add new connection and connect with Google sheets. Here we have to choose an account in which account you have created your Google sheet. So I'm just choosing my account. Pabli Connect Sheets wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, so let's click on continue. 
and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with public connect authorization successful okay and now the google sheets are connected to public connect now here we can find all the spreadsheets that i have created into my account so here we have the spreadsheet named clients data so i am going to use this particular sheet so i'll just find clients data over here okay this one here we have to select the sheet name so the sheet name is sheet 1 over here just because i have not created many sheets over here so we have to select the same so as we have just one sheet it is automatically captured now here we have to select the range of the sheet okay so the range will be how much data you want to capture so if we select the data in this particular format then the range would be a2 to c12 okay this is the starting row and column that is a2 and the end row and column will be c12 but if this sheet is going to be updated on a regular basis or if you are adding the data is to this particular sheet and you want the messages to be sent to all the numbers so i'll be just uh, taking the starting row and column and i'll not be choosing the end row of this particular column that is the c column so in that case our range would be a2 colon c we are not giving the end row okay so let's move to public connect and here we are going to give the range as a2 colon c okay and in the instruction also we can see you can use a2 colon d to get all the filled rows in that case we have the data till column c only that is the reason we have taken the range as a2 colon c now before clicking on save and send test request first we are going to make the simple response to the advanced response to capture the data into the array format okay so i'll just click on the save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received and all the details are captured over here and here we can find all the details of the clients are captured into the array format so we are taking the data into the array format just because we want to send the messages to all the clients whose details are there in the sheet if we will not pick the data into the array format then it will send the message to only one of the client and not to all so in order to send the messages to all the clients we are using this particular format that is array format now we have got the details in the array format but we have to segregate this data okay for that come to this plus sign and click on add action step in the action window here we are going to select the application name as iterator in the choose array it will be response result itself okay and let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received and the details of the clients are separated now okay so basically iterator segregates the data from the array format to this particular row format okay so i'll just explain you the process of the iterator i'll just go to the google sheet so what iterator will do iterator will set the array it will pick the value of the first row okay then it will send the message on whatsapp then again it will go to the google sheet it will pick the value of the second row then it will send the message and it will keep on sending the messages up till the last row okay that is the reason we are using iterator over here so now our client data is ready okay i'll just take you to my trigger window first okay here we can find the url this is the blogger url so here we can see that the blogger url is too big in size many of the times it is too lengthy so i want to shorten this particular blogger url okay so to shorten the url we are going to use one more application over here so click on this plus sign add action step in the application name we are going to select it as bitly in the action event we have to select shorten link click on connect click on add new connection and connect with bitly authorize pably to use your account okay let's click on allow authorization successful and now the bitly account is connected to pably connect just because i was already logged into my bitly account now here we have to select the group name which is automatically captured okay here we have to map the long url which url you want to shorten so we want to shorten this particular blogger url so we are going to map this url now okay i'll scroll down 
and here let us map the URL from Google Blogger. Okay, and this was the URL. And let's click on save and send test request. Response is received, and here we can find the shortened URL. Okay, now we want to send a WhatsApp message to all the clients. For that, come to this plus sign once again. Click on add action step. Here in the application name, we have to select 360 dialog. In the action event, we have to select send template message. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the API key and domain. So let us read the instructions. Enter API key here. You can create API key in your 360 dialog account. Log into your 360 dialog account. Move to WhatsApp account page from the left sidebar. And click on generate API key button. Okay, so let's move to 360 dialog account first of all. So this is the dashboard of 360 dialog account. I have added the link of 360 dialog in the description box. By clicking on that link, you can reach to 360 dialog application and get 360 dialog service at a very affordable price than the actual price. Here we have to come to WhatsApp accounts. And here we can find generate API key option. So you have to simply click on generate API key, you have to copy the key, you have to go back to public connect and you have to paste the API key over here. Now once the API key is generated, the same API key can be used for various different connections and workflows. We don't have to generate the API key again and again. Okay, now the domain is required. Enter the domain here which you will get while generating the API key. An example is also given. So we are going to simply copy this example from here. And we are going to paste it over here. So whenever our account is approved, we get this particular domain by default. In your case, if you get some other domain, please paste that domain over here. After pasting API key and domain, simply click on save. Okay. As I have already created a connection, so I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. Okay, and now the 360 dialog is connected to public connect. Now here we have to select a template. So you might be thinking, what is a template? So template is simply a message that we want to send on the WhatsApp number of the customer. As we cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, first we have to create a template. We have to get it approved from Facebook. And once the template is approved, then only the messages can be sent on the WhatsApp number of the customer using this particular template. That is, that is the reason we have to select a specific template over here. So I'll just take you to my 360 dialog account once again. And here we can find manage templates option. Click on this. Here you can see that I have created several templates and got it approved. If you want to create a new template, come to this plus sign and click on add template. Here you can give the template name. Here you can select the category as per your requirement. Various categories are available. Okay. Here you can select the language of your choice. Here you can select the template type. Here you can give the template body text. That is the message that you want to send on the WhatsApp number. Then you have to click on preview and submit. Then it will be going for the approval. And once this template is approved, then you can use this template for sending the messages on WhatsApp. So I'll just close this template. And I'll open the one which I have already created and got it approved. That is blogger underscore update. Okay, I'll just open it. Here you can see one, two and three numbers in the curly braces. So these are the body fields and the values of these body fields are going to change every time. Okay, for example, let us read the template first. Hello, a new post is just published on our blogger account. Don't wait to share your love. Also provide your valuable feedback in the comments. Here you can give the link. Note, please save this number to make the link clickable. Regards and here you can give your company name. So I'll just uh, fill up the fields over here. We want the name of the customer to be di displayed here in body field 1. Okay. Here we have to give the link. I'll just give it as www.pabli.com just to explain you. Okay. And here we want... The company name that is Pabli. Okay. So in this way, the messages will be delivered to the clients on their mobile number or the WhatsApp number. Okay. Now here we can find a special instruction that is a note. Please save this number to make the link clickable. 
So in order to make this particular link clickable, the clients need to save your WhatsApp number in their mobile. Okay. So once the number is saved, then only this link will be clickable. That is the reason we have given a note in our message. So you can also add these type of notes in your messages. Okay. So let us select this template that is blogger update into public connect. So let's move to public connect and here in the template, let us find blogger update. Now here we can see the namespace and the language code is automatically captured. So we are not going to change anything over here. Okay. Now here we have to give the recipient mobile number. Enter the recipient mobile number with country code. So here we have to map the WhatsApp number of the customer or the client who is going to receive the WhatsApp message. Okay, so we have already got the client details here. So we are going to map these details now. I'll just map the recipient mobile number from iterator. Okay, and this was the mobile number. And here in the instructions, it is also mentioned that we have to add the country code before the number. I am just adding the country code plus 91 as we are in India. You have to add your country code before the WhatsApp number. Okay. Now we have to give the body field 1 over here. That is the name. So I will just map the name from iterator. And the name was Smita Sharma. Here we have to map the link. So I will just map the link from bit.ly shorten link. And the link was this one. Okay. Body field 3, here we have to give the company name. So, I will just give it as Pabli Team. Okay. And let us click on Save and Send Test Request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. Now, let us check the WhatsApp number of the customer or the client. So, I will just go to the WhatsApp. And here we can find a new message. I will just open it. Hello Smita Sharma, a new post is just published on our blogger account. Don't wait to show your love. Also provide your valuable feedback in the comments. Link is mentioned. Note, please save this number to make the link clickable. Regards Team Pabli. So this was the body field 1, which was the name of the customer or the client. That is Smita Sharma. The second we have given was the link and the third was our company name. So all the parameters are correctly placed over here. Now let us click on this link and let us check whether the blogger post is shared or not. Okay, and here we can see that the blogger post is shared. We are redirected to the blogger post. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. Okay, I'll just go back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. So now we have to check this in the real time. For that, I'll again go to the blogger account and I'll just create a new post over here. I have given the title as National Energy Conservation Day 2021. Along with that, I am just adding a random content over here. And with this content and the title, I am adding an image also. Let's add the image from my system. Let us just choose the files. Okay, and along with this file, I will just select this particular image. Okay, and here we can find the image. Let's click on select. Okay, image is ready. Let's click on publish and confirm. Okay, and here we can see the post is published. Now let us check the WhatsApp number of the client. I'll refresh it. Okay, and here even after refreshing, we can't find our message just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based. So it may take time to capture the response. So let's wait for some time. Okay, so it's almost 5 minutes. Let us refresh it once again. And now here we can find a new message. Hello Smita Sharma, a new post is just published on our blogger account. Don't wait to show your love. Also provide your valuable feedback in the comments. A link is given. Note, please save this number to make the link clickable. Regards team Pabli. Okay, so now let us check this particular link. Okay, and here we can see that we are redirected to the blogger post and the post was National Energy Conservation Day 2021. This was our second post. I'll show you into my blogger account. Okay, and here we can find the second post. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Okay, and all the clients are going to receive this WhatsApp message one by one. 
okay first it will send to smita sharma after that it will send to ritika jain and in this way it will keep on sending the messages to all the clients who whose numbers are there in this particular sheet okay so let's move back to pabli connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now okay i'll just minimize the trigger window also so first we have created an integration between google blogger and pabli connect then pabli connect has captured all the details related to the new post then we have used the google sheets to capture all the details of the clients then we have got the clients details in the array format then to segregate the data from the array format to the row format we have used iterator in order to shorten the link of the blogger account we have used bitly over here and to send the messages on whatsapp we have used 360 dialog software application and in this way we have created a successful integration between google blogger and whatsapp using pabli connect hey guys welcome back to the biggest automation video library and here i am back again with yet another amazing automation for our dear blog writers okay guys so by this automation blog writers can share the the link of the blog that they have just published to the group they have in telegram automatically yes guys no need to copy paste the link of your blog again and again and no need to write the caption and again and again and no need to switch between these two applications to and fro again and again you just have to set up this automation once and after that whenever any blog writer publishes a blog here from their blog blogger account the link of that same blog will get delivered here to the telegram group automatically yes guys and the flow of this automation will look something like this uh, as and when you publish a blog here in your blogger what will happen the link of that same blog will get delivered as a new message here in telegram group but the issue here is there is no direct connection present between blogger and telegram to so to resolve this issue the application i am using is called pabli connect so guys pabli connect is an integration and automation software and it will connect these two applications together such that whenever you publish a blog here the link of that same blog will get delivered here in telegram group as a new message and guys the best part of setting this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge so guys now let me show you on my screen how you can also set up this automation so guys this is my computer screen and here you can see i am in my google bloggers dashboard and here i create and publish blogs and as and when I create and publish blogs here, the same blogs, the link of the same blogs along with the photo of the blog will get delivered automatically in a telegram group that I manage where I have my followers. Okay. So that I can update them about a new blog posted by me. Okay. So you can see here, this is a blog that I have posted on December 20 and it is published here. Okay. And as and when I posted this blog here, the message get delivered on my telegram group as well here like this okay so message was hey fam i have just posted a new blog on my page title is this check out the full post from this link okay so this is the link of the same blog post and this is the photo of the blog okay so this is my telegram and this is how it is going to happen in real time so now you guys are wondering how I managed to bring this message here. So let me show you the process by which you can also create this automation and engage your audience on Telegram also. So guys, the first step to create this automation is to log in into your public connect account. Okay. So guys, I have pasted the link in the description from where you can set up your own free public connect trial account, and then you can sign in and reach the dashboard of public connect here like this. Okay. And from here, you have to create an automation workflow and to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button like this. And here you can give a suitable name to a workflow also. So let me fill the name here. So guys, I have filled the name of this workflow as send Google blog link to telegram group automatically. Okay. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page, you will find these two things first, the trigger and the action so our automation work on this trigger and action guys so the trigger says when this happens that means when any event occur the action 
or a response to that trigger would be pably connect will perform any function so it action is saying pably connect do this all right so in our use case the trigger would be a new blog posted in uh, from my blogger account and the action or the response to that trigger would be to send the message on telegram along with the link of that blog and the photo okay so first of all you have to click here on this trigger window and here from this choose app field you have to choose your trigger application so our trigger application would be uh, google blogger this one okay select the application and then it will ask for the trigger event so the event would be any new blog posted so you can see here it is showing us this option new post added and you can read here it triggers when a new post is added so select this option from here okay then click on this connect button and from this window select add new connection and then click on connect with google blogger okay and from this window you have to choose the gmail account by which you have created your blog so select that account from here okay and give the required access to bring the data of your blog here click on continue okay you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected with google blog now it is asking for the blog's name so here when you click in the drop down it will show you all the blog pages that you have created currently i have only this one page you can see my blog so i'm going to select this blog only okay and the status of this page and the post are live so i'm selecting only live here okay and now when you click here on save and send test request it will fetch the details of the last or the most recent blog that you have posted in your blogger okay so you can see in my blog this is the most recent or the last uh, blog i have published and this is the title omicron cases reported in 57 nations most are travel related so this is the blog and here I'm going to click on save and send test request and let's see if the details of the same blog get captured here or not so, and you can see in this response it is showing us this kind of response it is showing us the ID the blog ID the publishing date okay the URL the self link the title okay so you can see in the title the title was seen Omicron cases reported okay and here's the content you can see the content also in this content field okay now guys i want to uh, send the details or the title or a caption a beautiful caption to my telegram group so that i can update my group members that i have just posted a new uh, blog in my blog page okay for that what you have to do click here on this action window and from this choose app field you have to choose the trigger oh sorry action application which is which is telegram okay so when you type telegram here it will show this telegram bot select this okay and now in the action event what we want what we want to send a message so you have to select the option here as send a text message this one send a text message or a reply with html okay so i'm going to use this html because we are going to attach the link of the blog also so you can see it will send a text message or a reply to text message with HTML support. So click on it. Okay, then click on this connect button. And from this window, select add new connection. And here it will ask for this uh, token to be entered in this field. So uh, it will take a few moments for this process to complete. And this is very interesting thing. Let me show you. You have to cre uh, create a new bot in telegram and that bot will deliver your message in the group you need not to do anything okay so let me show you the process of how to create a bot a new bot in telegram so this is my telegram account guys and you can see i have this search bar here so in the search bar search for bot father okay search for bot father b-o-t f-a-t-h-e-r and you will find this bot father uh, person with the blue tick okay so select this blue tick bot father like this okay and guys to create a new bot you can actually read the instructions here you have to type slash new bot to you have to message to this bot father slash new bot okay so put here slash new bot okay this one select this and send it okay 
so i have sent the message to bot father and here it is saying to me here replied me all right a new bot how are we going to call it so please choose a name for your bot so here you have to give a name to your blog or uh, to your bot so i am let's name it as my blog my blog bot okay okay my blog bot okay good it is saying good now let's choose a username for your bot it must end in bot like this for example tetris bot or tetris underscore bot so this is the name of my bot now you have to give a username so let me give the username as blogger underscore two underscore bot okay right and our new bot is created in telegram right so you can uh, first of all you can see it has given us a token to access the http api so just copy this token from here like this and paste it here in public connect in this to enter token field here okay then click on save and you you'll see that we are going to be connected with telegram okay and guys okay you can see we it is started showing connected and you can actually see your bot also by clicking here on this link on this message so this is a your bot named my blog bot okay and in public connect started showing connected and here it is asking for the chat id okay so it is asking for the chat id of the group in which you want to send the message so you have to follow these instructions to get the chat id let me show you directly how you can get it so i'm going to my telegram again and guys this is the group in which i want to post uh, the link of my blog and that group is my blog family okay so just open this group okay and first of all you have to add the bot that you have just created in this group okay so that it can, it can deliver the message here so for that you have to click here and from here you can add a new member by clicking on this icon and you have to search for my blog bot my blog bot where it is okay here it is my blog bot so select it and add it to this group okay so after adding this bot uh, into this group you will see in the in the url that you are seeing here on the top of uh, when you open this group of yours you will find this url in this search bar and from this url you can see after this hashtag we are we are having this uh, we we are seeing this string of numbers okay so yeah, this is the this is actually the chat id we needed so just copy this string of numbers from here along with the minus sign i think like this okay and paste it here in this chat id okay so this is our chat id you can see and it has given us the examples and these instructions you can check this out okay so this is our chat id and now it is asking for the message that you want to send to the, your telegram group so here let me type the message so guys i have written i have written the text message as this hey fam i just published a new post on my blog page the topic is and you can read the full post from this link so i am going to map the topic and the title of my blog and the link of my blog from this first tab you can see in this first tab i have captured the de details of my of my blog and here you can see i have this uh, url of the blog like this in this url label okay this is html url and here you can see i have the title as well okay this is the title so i'm going to map these two things here and to do this you just have to click here on this field after this in this message and here you will find this google blogger option in the drop down so click on it and you will find all the details that we have captured in the first tab so from here i'm going to map the title which is this and in this link i'm going to map the link which is this okay like this and now it is asking for the disable notification so if you want to send a notification of uh, uh, this message you can choose yes okay 
you can read here choose if to send the message silently ios users will not receive a uh, notification android users will receive a notification with no sound okay so if you want do, do, if you do not want to disturb your group members you can choose no or if you want to give them a notification you can choose yes also and if you want to uh, provide a links preview you can choose this yes if you do not want to provide the preview you can choose no i'm putting yes now for both of the things and now let me click here on save and send test request and now you can see it started showing this kind of response here okay and now let's check in my telegram group if we receive the message and here you can see we have received a new message here okay and this is the message it is saying hey fam i just published a new post on my blog page and this is the title and this is the link so these are the same things i have mapped and right here in Pavli connect here in this field okay so this is it now uh, let's say you also want to uh, post in your telegram group the photo that you have attached here in your blog post for that what you have to do uh, go to public connect and click on this plus icon again and another action step will open up and from this action step you have to choose telegram again okay telegram bot and you now in this action event you have to choose this option send a photo let me show you if you have this option send a photo and it will send a photo to your group okay after this click on connect here and from this window now you can choose existing connection because we have already made a connection in the second step with telegram so now you just have to choose existing connection and click on save okay and here it is asking for the chat id so you'll find the chat id from your group when you open your group you will find the chat id on the top on the search bar okay after this hashtag just copy this string of numbers from here paste it here in this chat id like this okay and here it is asking for the caption so you can write any cool caption here uh, like uh, new post published like this or anything that you want to say to your members of your group okay and here it is asking the url or the file id so uh, we got the url of our photo that we have in our blog here in this first tab you can see in the first tab where we have captured the details of the blog we got this url of the blog as well we got this image url also in this label you can see we have this jpg link of the url so i'm going to map this image url here in this step okay in this field here so in this uh, url file id field click here and you will find this google blogger option click on it and find the url of the image here image url just map it okay and in the parse mode you can select the style of the url that you want to send to your uh, into your group you can see if you select the markdown style it will show you the link in the different style you can check what is markdown style from this page okay by clicking on this style and you can select html style if you want to uh, if you want telegram apps to show bold italic fixed with text or inline urls in your bots message okay so i'm selecting html here and if you want to put the notification on you can make it yes okay and then let's click here on save and send test request and check if the message if the okay photo is delivering or not and you can see we have received a new notification also with a sound here and let's check in our telegram group if we got the photo and you can see we got the new photo as well and with the caption new post published so guys it in real time both of these ma messages will be delivered uh, together okay so uh, it will look like this the whole message will look like this in real time so this message along with the photo will be posted together okay so our workflow is completed now you just have to click on save here and now let me give you a quick recap what we have done so first of all you can see in this trigger window i selected google blogger application as my trigger application and connected it then we capture the details of a most recent or the last blog that i have published like this okay 
So after that, uh, I opened this action window. I connected Telegram application as the action application and selected the action event as send a text message. Okay. Then with the help of our groups chat ID, I uh, uh, write a message here. And when I clicked on save and send test request, you have seen the test message will be de uh, got delivered here in my group like this. Okay. After that, I also want to uh, send the photo that I have in my blog post to my group members. For that, I connected Telegram bot again and uh, mapped the image URL that I got from the first step. And when I clicked here on um, save and send test request, you have seen the photo also got delivered here like this. Okay. So our workflow is completed now. And guys, you can use this same workflow because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start running this automation instantly hello everyone welcome back to our channel pably so in this video we are going to learn how to share your blogger post to twitter automatically so the idea here is that whenever you create a new post in your blogger account automatically the same post should be created into your twitter account but here the question is how to do this because there is no direct connection between blogger and Twitter. So first let us check this in the real time and then we will move on to the integration process. So this is my blogger account and this is my Twitter account. So now I want that whenever I create a new post here in my blogger account, automatically the same post should be created into the Twitter account. So I'll just create a new post over here. I'll just add a title as fourth most powerful country in Asia. I'll add a random description over here. Along with this title and description, I want the image to be uploaded. So I'll just select the image from my system. I'll select the files. Okay, and here let us select this image, India as powerful country. The image is getting uploaded over here. And let's click on select. So the image is uploaded. Now let us click on publish and confirm. So here a new post is published. Let us view this post. Okay, and here we can see that the post has been published. Now let us check our Twitter account. I'll refresh it. And here we can find a new post. A new blog is published on my page. Along with that an image is posted and a URL is posted. So let us open this URL. Okay, and here we are redirected to the blogger account. That is the blogger post. Now here you might be wondering that I just created a new post here in my blogger account and automatically the same post is created over here in my Twitter account also. So how did I manage to do this? So let me tell you this has become possible just because of the automation and integration process. So in order to create an integration between Google Blogger and Twitter, we are going to use a software application named Pably Connect. So basically, Pably Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Blogger with Twitter automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first, we are going to create an integration between Google Blogger and Pably Connect. Then Pably Connect will capture all the details related to the post and using those details, a new post will be created into your Twitter account. And in this way, we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between Google Blogger and Twitter using Pably Connect. So let us learn the integration process now. For this, let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pably.com in our browser. This is the website of Pably. Here we have to come to products and click on Pably Connect. This is the landing page of Pably Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option. As I already have a free account with Pably Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pably Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pably Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, Come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as blogger to Twitter integration. 
Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can find a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want the details to be captured from the blogger account. So I'll just open this trigger window and here in the application name, we are going to search blogger. In the trigger event, we have to select new post added. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and connect with Google blogger. Now here I have to choose an account. So I'll just choose my account. Pabli Connect Blogger wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, I'll just click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. And as I was already logged into my Google Blogger account, here we can see that Google Blogger is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select the blog ID. So I'll just take you to my blogger account and here we can find the blog ID. So we can see that it is automatically captured over here. Now here we have to select the status. You want the status to be live or draft or scheduled. So I want the status to be only live. So this particular trigger will run only when the post is live. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first let us create a new post into our blogger account. Just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest response. So I'll just go to the blogger account. And here by clicking on this plus sign new post, let us create a new post. I'll just add a title over here. So I've given the title as National Energy Conservation Day 2021. And along with that, I'll just add a content over here. That is the description. And here I want that along with this title and the description, an image should also get posted. So I'll just select the image from insert image. Click on upload from computer. As I have the uh, images in my system, I'll choose the files. Okay, so let us select this energy conservation image. The image is getting uploaded over here. Okay, and let's click on select. So the image is ready along with that the title and the description is also ready. Now let us click on publish. Publish post. Yes, confirm it. Okay, and here we can see that our post is published. Let us click on this view button. Okay, and here we can see that the title, the description and the image is ready and posted correctly. Now let us move back to Pabli Connect and let us click on save and send test request. And here we can see that the response is received and all the details related to the post are captured over here. Here we can find the image title, content, image URL and all other details. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes this may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently your data will surely arrive, okay? So now we want that using all these details, automatically a new post should be created into the Twitter account. So come to this action window and here in the application name, let us select Twitter. In the action event, we have to select create tweet with media. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and connect with Twitter. Here, as I am already logged into my Twitter account, it is asking Authorize Pabli Connect to access your account. So I'll just click on Authorize app. Authorization successful. And now the Twitter account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select the message media file URL. So if I add the message along with the title and the description, it will be too long just because we have a character limit of 280 words in the Twitter account. So for that, I'll just add a text over here that is a new blog is published on my page and I'll just map my blogger URL. So I'll just go to the blogger and let us find the URL over here. So this is the blogger URL. So whenever any of my followers click on this particular URL, they will be uh, redirected to the blogger post. Okay. Now here we have to give the media file URL. So let us map the media file URL over here. That is image URL. Okay, and uh, select the media category as image itself 
and let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the responses received. Now let us check our Twitter account. I'll refresh it. And here we can find a new blog is published on my page along with the image and the URL is posted. Let us check this URL. Okay, and here the URL has taken us to the blogger post. Now let us move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now we have to check this in the real time. For that, I'll again go to the blogger post and let us create a new post over there. I'll click on this new post once again. So I've given the title as India has updated the travel rules for the travelers. I'll just add a random content or the description over here. And along with this particular description, I want an image also. So I'll just upload an image from my system. Let us choose the file and I'll just add this travelers image. The image is getting uploaded over here. Let's click on select. Okay, I'll just maximize the size of this particular image and click on publish. Confirm. So here we can see that the post has been published. Let us view the post first. Okay, here we can see the title, the description along with the images properly posted. Now let us check our Twitter account. I'll refresh it. And here, even after refreshing, we can't find our post over here. Just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So let's wait for some time. And here after 5 minutes we can see show 2 tweets. So the 2 new tweets are there over here. And we can find our tweet. Okay. A new blog is published on my page along with this particular image. Let us click on the URL. Okay. And here we are on our blogger post. So in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So now let's move back to Pabli Connect. I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Blogger and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details related to the post and using those details automatically a new post is created into the Twitter account. And in this way we have created a successful integration between Google Blogger and Twitter using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can contact us at admin at Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.